That's an awfully hot coffee pot. That's an awfully. All right, all right. So we're gonna be talking about being skinny, man. Being skinny, that is an absolute blessing in disguise. You guys just look better in clothes, my guy. Like, let's just face the facts. You guys look better in clothes, but personally, I I don't like looking good in clothes just for society and being accepted and like trying to pick up some girls, bro. I do it for myself. Like honestly, genuinely, man. Like I'm not saying this just to win some some girls, man. I, I couldn't care less, bro. I'll be single for life. That's what God wants me to be. But okay, this is a, this huge tangent once again. Okay, being skinny is such a blessing from God because you just get to eat way more, man. <laughs> you just get to eat junk food. You get to do dirty bulks, dude. You get to do dirty bulks. We don't have the luxury. Uh, our, our easy gainers, we easy gainers don't have the luxury of a dirty bulk, man. We, we've been bulking our whole lives, so we, like, we have to cut and cut and cut. But like, being skinny gives you so many passes. And not only that, in the gym, the work ethic of a skinny man. Let's just remove the word skinny, bro. You're just a hard gainer, okay? Hard gainer. Dude, hard gainer work ethic is like unmatched in the gym. You know, because you recognize you're skinny and you need something more. You need to be more, you need to be smarter about your workouts. So like you guys research down to the science, man. You guys watch, you, you go Jeffrey Nippert on this, on this joint, man. Like you, you guys research so much and that's such a good work ethic to have. And I think God genuinely designed your body that way so that you, you build up this work ethic, not only in school, like it, a work ethic applies to everything. So like skinny guys have it good in the gym, man. Skinny guys, mentally strong, man. Mentally strong, strong warriors in the mental, man. And when you guys transform in the gym, when you guys actually build some muscle, that, that transformation, in my opinion, is more inspiring than a transformation from, from being fat to muscular. Because like, at least when you're fat, you at least look like some, somehow muscular, right? Like society paints you as this muscular frame because you're still big. But being skinny, bro, when you get muscle on those bones, man, woo! That is some inspiring stuff right there. So I applaud skinny guys in the gym for trying, man. Not even just trying. When they actually, when they actually conquer the physical hurdle of, of gaining weight and gaining muscle as a hard gainer, dude, those gains are every single inch or half inch, every single centimeter of muscle you guys gain, it is so apparent in your frame, man. Like that is the advantage of a skinny frame. It, every single drop of muscle just looks good. <laughs> you know, it's just straight up. Just being honest, man. The skinny frame is a blessing. Such a blessing, guys. Also, another thing with skinny guys, I love watching lightweight boxing, man. Lightweight boxing is, is kind of where it's at. And I'm just taking this analogy because like you guys are just physically lighter, man. I don't think you guys realize how light you guys are. You don't realize because you've been skinny your whole life, right? You don't realize how much of an advantage it is. You guys are straight aerodynamic. You're zooming down the track and field course, man. You, you guys are zooming, man. Now to run on that. It is actually such an undervalued trait you skinny guys have. Because, bro, my cardio, my running, I feel like an elephant, man. I be stomping on the ground, like, and I don't get anywhere, bro. Like, in swimming, when I, when I, I feel like I'm trying my best, like, I'm swimming, and then, in reality, I only, like, moved one inch in the water, man. That's how heavy fat, that, that's the heaviness that fat guys have to deal with, that fat guys like us have to deal with. And skinny guys just go, and they're just like cockroaches, bro. They just fly. <laughs> Exoskeleton on this, man. <laughs> like, like, this is such a blessing to be skinny, man. Wow, God designed your body, wow. What an honor, what an honor it is to be skinny. See, this is just a testament of God's absolute genius, man. Like, every body on the spectrum, every f from like obese to like anorexic skinny, like, there is so much potential on both sides, man. There's, even in the extremes, man. Like, if you're in the extreme, man, you gotta accept Jesus in your life. When you're, when, like, I'm telling you, Jesus will change your life, man. If you've been looking for something, if you've been looking for a breakthrough in life, wherever you are in the physical spectrum, wherever you are in the emotional spectrum, wherever you are in the mental spectrum, whoever you are, man, Jesus is for you. Skinny guys, fat guys, fit guys, unfit guys, you know, gays, lesbians, days, dems. Jesus is for you.
all these flaw, all these flaws, all all these flaws should be translated into applause, my guy, because God made you this way. Physically, all right, physically. This is um, uh, take away. Okay, I mentioned like I mentioned gays and days and all that, but that's another video. But physically, God made you skinny. God gave you a skinny build physically to reap the benefits of overcoming this skinny frame, man. This is why God made you. You know, er everything is for a reason. There are no coincidences. Don't hate yourself because you're skinny. Don't hate yourself because you're fat. It's just your base form. It's your starter build, my guy. You can become like an absolute unit, man. You have great potential on both sides, my guy. Okay, let's not mention the obvious cosmetic reasons that skinny is, is good. Like Personally, I don't think... The cosmetic advantages to being skinny is should be glorified or praised. Like all, all these people are like, <laughs> they're like, oh, you have a bad character, but you're skinny, and they they, they like remove the the things they gotta work on, and they're like, oh, you so you're thinking I'm skinny? Like that whole notion, that whole ideology, that that whole like that the whole mentality, man. I genuinely am disturbed by this. Guys, don't stay skinny, man. Don't stay skinny. We, we all got to be healthy. We all got to be functioning, abled bodies. Because I'm telling you now, I'm not here to fear monger or anything. But the time will come where we got to we gotta be physically fit, man. There is a time coming. I'm telling you, there is a time coming. So don't be sorry for being skinny. Don't feel bad about being skinny. But don't glorify it either, man. That's the only thing that matters. Working toward genetic potential to glorify God and God's kingdom and God's creation. We are all part of his kingdom, man.